So we've got our settings control and it's been currently controlled in our settings activity. But if we're going to control the sound effects for the whole application, we're going to have to store all this information in our application class. The application class that covers all of our, contains all of our activities. So if you open up the code and we go to Droid 101 application class, if we get to the very top at the application level, we're going to create a Boolean value, true or false, just to say if we want the sound effects on or off. We're going to call that sound effects state. Here's a nice shortcut in Android Studio. If you've got a Boolean or any other type of variable that you're going to want to be setting the value and getting the value, just click on it, go to code, generate, and pick getter and setter. Hit OK. So what it's done is create a couple of methods that allows access to this Boolean variable that we can set the value and return the value. Since the Droid 101 application class covers our entire app, we might want to have a default value for our sound effects when the user turns the application on. So when they turn the application on, they go to onCreate. Android looks at the onCreate method, and we can set that here. So we can now just say set sound effect state to true. We can now access the getter and setter methods in our settings activity to change the state. So if we go back to our settings activity, we've got here the programmatic handler. So we've got the helpful toast message that says we want to set the settings to off to false. I'm going to keep that toast message. It will help us debug in the future. And it's a nice reminder to the user. So as we did in the application class tutorial, we need to go back to the top of our activity and we need to create an application handler. So here it is. It's of type dry, Droid 101 application class. And we're going to call it app as we did before. And when you want to use the application class after giving it a name, you need to go straight to your onCreate method and connect it to the class. So here it is. Get application and cast it to Droid 101 application class. So now we can use app to access those methods. So here's our turn the sound effect off radio button. So let's just say app dot set sound effect state false. Where's our XML handler? Here it is. We do the same thing here. App dot set sound effect state to on. True. Let's run this and see how it how it works. If we open the settings, here are our sound effects. So we hit on, there's our toast, and if we hit off, there's our toast again. And it is interacting with our application class and it is setting that value. Here's something I want you to pay attention to. At the moment, it's set to sound effects off. And if we exit back out of the settings and go back into the settings, nothing is selected. Well, in the application class, the value of sound effect state is actually set. It's just that the buttons in our settings forget that. So that's one thing you have to remember to do. You have to set these to the value the user has chosen. And this is how you do it. If you go back into your settings activity, you're going to want to check these values on your onCreate method. So whenever the user enters the activity, and it's simply a few lines of code. So all you do is if app dot get sound effect state. So if it's true, we're setting our on radio button to true, which we already have a handle to defined above here. Otherwise, we set it set the off button to true. And because it's part of a radio group, the other button will automatically untick itself. Let's see this in action. So let's go into settings, sound effects off. There's the toast. Let's get out of the activity. Let's go back into our settings activity. And it's remembered and it's given us a visual on that. Well, there is one more thing we actually need to do. We've got the sound playing. Now we need to link that setting to the sound. So this application sound, if you remember, was defined in our Droid 101 application class. 
So let's go back to the Droid101 application class. Let's find that play method. Here it is, play the sound. So we just need an if statement. If sound effect state is equal to true, then we'll play the sound. If it's false, it's not gonna play the sound. So if we hit save, this should work. A moment of truth. Let's hit play. Let's check the sound on this button first. So if we hit application sound, app button pressed, sound is working. Let's go to the settings. Let's turn the sound effects off. We don't want to hear them. And let's go back out and hit the button. Excellent. There is no sound playing. But remember, that's only for the global sound pool we created. If I scroll up to the coin up sound here, it still plays because we're using a different sound pool that's not controlled by the settings. But I'm going to leave it there so that there's something to reference back later when we look at our code. And let's turn the sound back on. Sound effects on. And application sound. Excellent news. That was quite a bit of a windy tutorial, but I hope it was useful. Thanks for watching.